There once was a poor girl named Maya who lost her parents at a young age. Despite her unfortunate circumstances, Maya had a big dream. She wanted to become a doctor. She knew that it would be a difficult journey, but she was determined to succeed. Maya was a bright and intelligent girl, but her life was not easy. She had lost her parents at a young age and had to fend for herself. She lived in a small village with her grandmother, who was also poor. Despite her difficult circumstances, Maya had a big dream. She wanted to become a doctor. She had always been fascinated by the human body and wanted to help people heal. She knew that it would be a long and difficult journey, but she was determined to succeed. To support herself, Maya worked part-time as a waitress at a restaurant. She was a hard worker and always went above and beyond for her customers. However, Maya's co-workers were not as supportive of her dreams. They envied her ambition and made her life difficult. They would often spread rumors about her and try to sabotage her work. One day, Maya's boss overheard her talking to her friends about her dream of becoming a doctor. He was impressed by her determination and offered to help her. He offered to give her a raise in flexible hours so that she could study more easily. Maya was grateful for her boss's support. She continued to work hard at her job and her studies. She also found support from her friends and family, who believed in her and encouraged her to keep going. One day, Maya's grandmother gave her a gift. It was a small silver locket with a picture of Maya's parents inside. Maya's grandmother told her that the locket would remind her of her parents' love and support, and that she would always be with her, no matter what. Maya was deeply touched by her grandmother's gift. She knew that her parents would be proud of her for pursuing her dream of becoming a doctor. She also knew that she had her grandmother's love and support, and that was all she needed. Maya continued to study hard and eventually passed the medical school entrance exam. She was overjoyed and excited to begin her journey to becoming a doctor. Medical school was even more challenging than Maya had anticipated. The coursework was rigorous and the exams were difficult. But Maya was determined to succeed. She studied long hours and made many sacrifices. Maya also faced discrimination from some of her classmates and professors. They didn't believe that a poor girl from a small village could become a doctor. But Maya refused to be discouraged. She knew that she was smart and capable, and she was determined to prove her doubters wrong. One day, Maya was struggling with a particularly difficult concept in her anatomy class. She started to feel overwhelmed and discouraged. But she remembered her grandmother's gift and the locket she wore around her neck. She knew that her parents would want her to keep going, no matter what. Maya took a deep breath and opened her textbook. She started to read and study the concept again. This time, she was able to understand it. She realized that she was capable of overcoming any challenge, as long as she put her mind to it. Maya, gra Maya took a deep breath and stepped up to the podium. She had been practicing her presentation for weeks, but now that she was standing in front of her entire class, her heart was pounding in her chest. She looked out at the sea of faces, all of them expectantly turned towards her. Good morning, everyone, she said. My name is Maya, and today I am going to be talking to you about the impact of climate change on biodiversity. Maya had always been passionate about the environment, and she had poured her heart and soul into her research. She knew that climate change was a serious threat to biodiversity, and she was determined to raise awareness of the issue. She began her presentation by explaining the basics of climate change and its effects on the planet. She then went on to discuss the specific impacts of climate change on biodiversity, such as the extinction of species, the disruption of ecosystems, and the spread of invasive species. Maya spoke clearly and confidently, and she used engaging visuals to illustrate her points. She also made sure to answer any questions that came up from the audience. By the end of her presentation, Maya had succeeded in capturing the attention of her entire class. Her professors were impressed with her knowledge and her passion for the subject. That was an excellent presentation, Maya, said her professor, Dr. Johnson. You clearly did a lot of research, and you presented your findings in a very engaging way. I am very impressed. Maya's other professor, Dr. Smith, agreed. I especially liked the way you answered questions from the audience, she said. You demonstrated a deep understanding of the subject matter, and you were able to communicate your ideas clearly and concisely. Maya was thrilled to hear that her professors were impressed.
She knew that she had worked hard on her presentation, and it was gratifying to know that it had paid off. Thank you, she said. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Maya's presentation was a success, and it inspired her to continue her research on climate change and biodiversity. She knew that she had a voice, and she was determined to use it to make a difference in the world. She graduated from medical school at the top of her class and went on to become a successful doctor. Dr. Maya was a brilliant and dedicated doctor. She was known for her expertise in her field, her compassion for her patients, and her commitment to saving lives. One day, a young man named John was brought into the emergency room after being involved in a serious car accident. John was in critical condition, and his family was distraught. Dr. Maya immediately took charge of John's case. She worked tirelessly to assess his injuries and develop a treatment plan. She also took the time to reassure John's family and explain what was happening. Over the next few days, Dr. Maya worked around the clock to care for John. She performed several complex surgeries and monitored his progress closely. She also worked with a team of other specialists to ensure that John was receiving the best possible care. After several weeks in the hospital, John finally made a full recovery. He was able to return home to his family, thanks to the dedication and skill of Dr. Maya. John's family was so grateful to Dr. Maya for saving their son's life. They wrote her a heartfelt letter expressing their appreciation. Dr. Maya, we are forever indebted to you for saving our son's life, they wrote. You are a true hero. Your dedication, compassion, and skill are truly remarkable. We are so grateful to have had you as our doctor. Dr. Maya was touched by the letter. She was proud of the work she had done to save John's life. But she was also humbled by the gratitude of his family. It is my privilege to serve my patients. She said, I am simply doing my job. But it is always heartwarming to know that my work is appreciated. Dr. Maya's story is a reminder of the important role that doctors play in our lives. They are often the ones who stand between us and death. They are the ones who work tirelessly to save lives and give us hope. Maya's story is an inspiration to us all. She showed us that it is possible to overcome any obstacle if we have the determination and the will to succeed. We are all grateful to doctors like Dr. Maya for their dedication and commitment to their patients.